So in the previous episode of High Score Girl, we saw Yaguchi and Ono going into a small little uh, Street Fighter 2 tournament in Osaka. So I believe they skipped the Kyoto trip altogether, which is just fantastic. You know, they, they gotta uh, they, they gotta do their own things. And during this uh, during the tournament and after it, we saw Yaguchi and Ono having a, a well, I mean, they were fighting at this point, although when, when I say fighting, I really mean that Ono is uh, out here just punching the shit out of Haru. Okay, am, am I calling him Haru? All right, I'm, I'm starting to write notes again because I thought that originally I wouldn't need to write notes for the series. But I, as I was editing the last two episodes, I felt like I was very scattered brain. And so because of that, I've decided that I'm actually going to be writing notes for the rest of the series. But the issue is that when I write my notes, I write him as Haro. But I've been calling him Yaguchi this whole time. So anyways, the whole discrepancy of me calling him by his first or last name is going to continue. So, you know, if, if you know his full name, then you'll, you'll figure out who I'm talking about. Yaguchi is out here taking all these punches, but he's like telling her his his true feelings. You know, this whole time he misses her and that he had wished that she was there with him to uh, witness all of these uh, advancement in games. And he saw that Ono has kept this ring that he gave to her when she left all these years ago. And so, you know, for the most part, I assume that they, they've come to the realization that the both of them have had each other in their heart. Uh, despite them not really being able to talk much or more or less be able to repair their relationship uh, since uh, Ono has come back. So I like that. Uh, where we're getting to that point and I'm uh, I'm excited to see what's going to happen next from there but on Miao's side he realized in this up in the previous episode that Hidaka likes Haru and he's just kind of like yeah it's understandable that you would like him he's he's a bit of a dumbass but he's he's really kind and he's really he has a warm personality and then towards the end he, he realized that there might be a thing going on between uh, Haru and Ono so despite him wanting to uh, do the uh, confession to Ono, he's decided that he doesn't want to butt in. So, you know, what a fucking lad. <laughs> but I do have my full length and my early access up on Patreon, which you guys can check out in the description down below. But if you're not interested in the Patreon, but you're still liking this content, you know, remember to like and subscribe. I, uh, th this fucking outro of the intro is getting longer. <laughs> Anyways, let's get started. Oh, I forgot to mention in, in that really long recap about the fact that Haru is uh, looking forward to his future and all that shit. <laughs> I was thinking her, his mom is quite eccentric. Eh? Let's get into this age. <laughs> ah! <laughs> she snapped. It's really nice you can see like the difference between him and his mother now in terms of like height. He's hit, he's hit that growth spurt. <laughs> he was all oh, no just. <laughs> こんな目立ってっと人さらいだと思われるぜ。ここでの騒ぎはご発と思って様子見プレイさせちゃうからな。せっかくの夏休みに学業だけに縛り付けられちゃ不憫で仕方ないよ。うん。おし、痛いほど
<laughs> man's freaking out. <laughs> All right. Well, I should pray for another. Alright. Wait, well, really? She's just staring out at you? Well, you guys, while well, she leaves? Well, that's what we had a conversation with in the previous episode with Mia, huh? Well, she's got a hobby that other people will just be like, that's not you. <笑>やっぱりこいつと I wonder, huh? Oh, yeah, you can fucking carry the conversation, that's for sure. Will you find time to be friends with each other? Or is that the end of the journey? <laughs> God, I would feel so much pressure if there were so many people just watching. <laughs> I get nervous enough just having like one or two people behind me waiting. Oh, she's get the... <laughs> what a pro, dude! Ah! I never get bored with you. I was wondering why did it kind of look like his face? Mm-hmm. Christ, the guy who said was in the fucking tournament. <laughs> what a time to be living as a, as a fellow gamer. <laughs> Old man! He was asking her a fucking question! Well, you know, at least she smiled at you, despite her still saying nothing. <laughs> and, you know, she's still hanging out with you. This, I feel like that enough. That enough? That alone is enough. Jesus. So why, you want to get into Joran High too? So he's studying. What in the fuck? <laughs> well, if you gamify, you're studying. Oh no, why not play some games before? <laughs> Oh, 
Well, you better ask somebody else to help you study. Ooh, it's November. Ooh. Totes. You challenging yourself? Damn, but is your teacher gonna Damn, dude. Fuck. <laughs> Damn, they're out here roasting this boy. Holy shit. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you did your homework. <laughs> Passionate uh, anyways. <laughs> oh, it's no <laughs> Exactly, it's passionate <laughs> Oh well I'm glad she's supportive despite her roasting him in the beginning. Your mom was the one who also wanted to watch Street Fighter 2 with you. Or go to the movies with- I- I- Oh, Meow. <laughs> Meow. Meow's getting it. Oh, he's quickly switching side already. <laughs> Meow's gonna have a group study session, come on! You can bring Ono into the fucking study session. Oh, you're looking at his shoes? Oh, there's his motivation. <laughs> his games are talking to him. Oh no. Honestly, just tell your mom to like, Ayo, take these fucking shit away. Not sell them, but like, stash it somewhere. Oh, it's October now? Wait, I thought it was November before. I'm confused. <laughs> Oh, she just wants to play some video games with him. Oh, the Sega Saturn's being sold. And Ono's still out here playing video games by herself. Is this man just working for the arcade now? Is that why he's wearing- <laughs> Oh, even his teacher is here. January. Oh my god. You would have caught these fists. <laughs> oh, you're gonna drive him? Oh shit, damn, dude. He's gonna come in in a nice car. Oh. Wow. <laughs> damn, your mom leaked it out. <laughs> Mm. She wasn't having as much. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> He's so angry when he said that. Wow. A little, a little, a little bit of pressure saying that he's the pillar in her life. <laughs> so many things has changed. Oh my god. <laughs> ゲーム界の革命だった。ゲーマーにとって脳が揃ってる進化だ。うん。今まで自粛してただけで、ゲーセンに飽きたわけでも何でもないんだよ。この一番盛り上がってる時期に、ゲームから離れるのは何とも<笑> 
But you kept at it, huh? That's why you gotta move along. But it's nice that, you know, she, she has this motivation for him to actually wanting to move forward in his life. Oh, you're just gonna handhold like this? Oh, there's been so many fucking sentimental piano and just music in general happening throughout this entire episode. <laughs> Keeping a oh, it's a private academy. Holy shit! Exactly. <laughs> Tell Ono what? Oh, yeah. That's why he restrained himself. Doesn't want to say what he feels about her before he fucking gets accept accepted. A little embarrassing if it happens. Huh? <laughs> If he didn't get accepted, that's what I mean. I don't think I saw 1942 anywhere in there. <laughs> Guys, <laughs> there was only 1940 in there. Oh, it was 1940, wasn't it? I, I remember her number was a little bit closer. I just wanted to come in. Look at this. 1940. Yeah, the fucking... So it was just... <laughs> it was just Ono. Oh no. <laughs> no. <laughs> so anyways, we are... Uh, even though you failed the test, we are actually on our waiting list. And uh, if uh, somebody decides to get off that waiting list, you can be added to the private academy as well. <laughs> no. Well, you know, we'll, we'll just have to see in the next episode, see how that goes. But... I'm gonna go write my notes, and we will be right back in the center. How will you feel if your parents wants to see Street Fighter 2? Uh, I mean, embarrassed? Yeah, but that's, I feel like that's the usual thing, you know, their kids, uh, of the kid being embarrassed uh, about their, about, about, or their parents embarrassing them. But like, if there's like an even, an ounce, of interest that your parents are trying to get into the things that you do. You know, don't you think that you should- I- I don't know, I feel like you probably shouldn't take that for granted. Anyways, this is like a- uh, I- I even realized I got- they've used that one before, but that's just like a- a much more, uh, slow version, you know, of, um, uh, of the ending, which is very nice. It kind of sounds like that instrument. I can't remember what it's called, but it has like those metal little things and you play it with your with your fingers and all that. I don't know what it's called, <laughs> but it makes very beautiful sounds. Well, actually, it, it just sounds like a piano. <laughs> but playing it in this version with that instrument that I, that I was talking about, it would actually sound very... Well, actually, I feel like everything using that instrument would sound ethereal <laughs> and magical all right so that was episode nine of high score girl let me know what you guys think about it in the comments down below you know that i always like talking to you guys for me i thought that this was a, a really nice episode you know i've i've really been enjoying how we've been taken uh over the years and also you know just showcasing not showcasing but just mentioning all the games that are coming out during these years and as uh what Hado was talking about with uh with Ono and how the fact that they, they've got all these freaking games that are coming out you know all these uh s marvelous spectacles you know these improvements upon improvements there was a lot of shit that was happening but it's happening during their milestone of 
uh, academic somewhere around there, you know, because like they 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 have to go and take uh, take an exam to go into high school and all that, and it's happening during all these busy time of of uh, of the gaming world. So it's it's I've been really enjoying in how they've been showcasing the time passing, and also you can really see it with uh, their growth, you know, especially with Hado and how his. Uh, especially with his demeanor, you know, it's 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 considerably not change, but well, yeah, I mean, there is some. It, I mean, this is literally him growing up, so he is uh, changing. And as what sort of what he started thinking about in the previous episode after he and Ono made up, that he wanted to think about the future and that he wants to change. And I, I, I really, I, I really enjoy this, uh, uh, this, this change from him, you know, gradually going into uh, uh, adulthood, and, and and how you know carefree he was back in elementary, and how he was still having, he was still in that stage of carefreeness in uh, middle school and all that. But also that carefree uh, persona of his is what was really garnering attention from the girls and by the girls I just mean Ono and Hidaka because that's like the only people that we know <laughs> that are interested in in Hado anyways but at the same time during that stage it's fine to be carefree but now as he's growing up he's starting to realize which I really like that uh as he says the world is well in the general sense, the world is moving, but what he says specifically is that the game world is moving. It's just continuously improving upon itself. Uh, ono is also continuing uh, to uh, uh, improve upon herself. You know, she's trying to apply into this big uh, a high school, this private academy or whatever. And here is Haru, who, uh, if he hadn't changed, he, as he said, he would have been fine with any school that he could get into. But because of Ono and because of his uh, fear of not wanting to separate from her again because of, you know, the, the whole thing in, in elementary and him talking about in the previous episode that he misses her and that he wished that he could have experienced all this uh, gaming shit, you know, there's all the, the new stuff in the gaming world with her. So it's that... It, just fear of not what not of not being able to witness that with her again especially if they're going to be in separate school and he knows that Ono has all these freaking lessons that's not going to make her uh happy per se and and, and he, again he's also worried about the fact that is she going to be able to make friends because of the way that she is and it's something that we were talked about in the previous episode where uh it just feels like people are putting her up on a pedestal so it's it's hard for her even though he did say she kind of gets along with people despite her still not saying anything uh, again i but despite her getting along with people she doesn't really get the on the same level as um not even the same level but you know as at, at the very least a few levels beneath haru you know that for them to actually be able to hang out with uh her regularly so she doesn't really have those such friends so it's really nice how that all accumulates to him making that his motivation to change himself and to be able to actually uh, separate from his games a thing that he loves so much just so he could study and uh, uh, study and take the exam to go into the same school as Ono. So I, I, I really enjoy that and just that feeling of motivation and him uh, actually being serious about it and taking in all the advice that his friends and even his teacher has uh, has given to him so that he could again go take this exam and pass this uh, go and get into a Joran high school and all that and I suppose somewhere along the way he's uh, he's realizing his uh, true feelings for Ono we'll, we'll we'll just have to see because when Ono uh, was holding his hand well actually I would just, let me rewind that for a bit uh, during the exam day the uh, chauffeur came and picked him up. I still don't know his name for some reason. I, oh, I'm this close to calling him the pachinko man at this point, but uh, he comes to pick him up and he goes and he says, you know, the arcade is the bridge between you and Ono and that you are the pillar in Ono's life. I, I very much enjoy that comedic timing though with, you know, he's trying to be sentimental and he's trying to be, uh, 
<laughs> he's trying to he's trying to be a nice guy and tell him of of, of like the great things that that he has done for Ono, and and, and also like and to inform him that Ono hasn't really been having fun at the arcade because he wasn't there. But he's also very happy to learn why he hasn't been in the arcades, that he wants to be in the same school as Ono. So he was very happy, he was trying to tell him all this shit, and he's just like, well, you know, Ono's been uh, not been having uh, quite as fun anymore, do you know why? <laughs> and Aru, being his den self, is just like, why? <laughs> and just the way that the, that the fucking chef, the pachinko man, just says it in such an angry tone, and then the summer music just kicks back in. That is, I, I absolutely love that scene. <laughs> and so with Haru getting to hear all that, and then uh, the, the pachinko man deciding to let him actually tell Ono her, herself that he's going to take the exam. I like that he didn't spoil her as well, you know, gotta, gotta give her a nice little element of surprise and all that. But so in the indie car and as he talks about how, you know, he wants to change and all that, Despite him saying, you know, it's it's, it's a bit of a, uh, you know, a, I was gonna say a fool's gambit. Like, what is this, like a queen's gambit? Like a fool's game, you know? It, it kind, of, kind of feels like, you know, it, 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 it's kind of like, I'm stupid, but I'm still, I'm, I'm aiming for this, uh, uh, for, for this fucking private high school, you know? So, it's a bit of a fool's game, but that's what, that's why he wants to, I mean, that's exactly what his mom and his teacher said too, but it, they, they were still supportive in the end, so very nice so it's nice that he he says about that and then he goes back to that thing again where he says that uh, he 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 would have the time of his life if he's able to witness all of this uh new tech and gaming though this re gaming revolution with ono and it, it's just nice for that to just come back again ono holds his hand and at that point you know that's when he seems like he was going to say something about his feelings but he's decided not to which well, I mean, now that we see the fucking acceptance board, I guess it was a great idea to not tell her about it, huh? It'll be a little embarrassing. <laughs> It'll be a little embarrassing for uh, to, to fucking say that shit and then you don't get in the same school as her. Oh, man. But I suppose that just means Haru has to hold back his feelings still? Since he says that he's going to hold it back until he gets into the school? But... It seems like he's not gonna go into the school. We'll just have to see, you know. I, I feel like this this uh, story has been, in, in terms, quite realistic. So I'm not really sure that they're gonna do some bullshit tactics and and say that he gets into school. But we'll we'll, we'll just have to see, you know. Is he actually just gonna go into some other school, you know? Maybe like the same school as. Uh, Hidaka and Meow, and then oh no, we'll have to be in this fucking whatever school that she. Oh, I mean, I know what we're, what school she's going to. She's going to Joran High School. So we'll just have to see that in the next episode. But uh, I, I wonder if you know Haru is just gonna be distraught. But we'll just have to see. Again, he's put all this effort into studying for Joran High School, and then in the end. He didn't get in, or currently that's what the acceptance board said, so it'll be, uh, it'll be interesting, but <sighs> I don't know what I, I don't know what else I wanted to say. I feel like I already said my piece about the mom trying to get along with her, with her son, but anyways. <laughs> if I have anything else to say, I will write it in the description down below. Thank you guys for sticking around, and I will see you guys in the next episode.